All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for language arts, we are going to be talking about putting the sentences in order. So many times to put sentences in order, we need to look for what is called time order words. And time order words can include um, first, second, third, and so on with those. Those are called number positional words. Um, it can also include next, then, after that, last, and finally. So we'll want to keep a lookout for these type of time order words to help us put sentences into the correct sequential order. All right, so this can also be known as what is called sequencing or a sequence of events. So first off, what is sequencing? So sequencing is getting the events in order. So the sequence means order. So like in this picture here, we have first, next, and then. So here's an example. So Caleb wants to get ice cream, but first he has to go to the supermarket. So why wouldn't the ice cream come first? So remember with events, events are something that happens that is important to the story. So recall a story that you have recently read and what was an, e an e important event from that story. So for order, when telling a story or retelling a story to someone, you should think about what happens and then form the correct order. So again, we had asked the question, why couldn't the ice cream come first? So it, he has to go to the supermarket to get the ice cream in order for him to enjoy it. So here we're gonna be looking at order and we're gonna be seeing some time order words here. So we have first, the boy gets hungry for ice cream. Next, the boy decides to go to the store to get ice cream. Then, the boy picks his favorite flavor of ice cream. So here we see order. So first, Caleb was hungry for the ice cream. And in order for him to eat the ice cream, he first had to go to the store to buy the ice cream and then he was able to pick out his favorite flavor of ice cream and enjoy eating the ice cream. So next we're going to be talking about transition words. So did you notice the words first, next, then, and then we can also use the word last. So these are like time order words and we can use them as transition words into our next sentence in our sequence of events. So these transition words help us put our events in order. All right, and that is our language arts lesson for today.